getting video games for your birthday. Seeing as this video is going to be coming out on my very own birthday, I thought this would be a good video topic. And the thing about getting video games for your birthday is that while getting them as an adult isn't as important as a kid, it was very important because like I've talked about before on this channel, it was one of the very few limited opportunities we had to get new video games. We had an entire year to think about what video games we wanted to ask for and so it was very important to choose wisely. Okay, so the first part of the equation that's really important is what time of year your birthday comes at. Now, my birthday comes in the summer, and I found this to be ideal because it's almost kind of like the midway point between uh, Christmas and the next Christmas. For those of us who celebrate Christmas, that was a big opportunity for us to get new games. So there's two basic arguments that I see when it comes to this. The first argument is that you want your birthday to be as far away as possible from the holiday season in order to spread the wealth around. The other argument that you see is that it's actually kind of cool to have your birthday near the holiday season because then you get double the gifts all at once and that's really awesome. But here's the potential problem with that second scenario. And I remember seeing some kids get screwed badly by this first hand back in the day. So here's the thing about the holiday season. Most people's wallets are getting absolutely hammered by all the gifts they have to buy for everybody because it's not just one person they're shopping for. So for some little kid, if they think, hey, I can just get this kid one gift and say, hey, this is for your birthday and for the holidays. Technically, that kid got screwed, and sure, the kid may not complain about it because you don't want to seem like some greedy little turd, but I guarantee you that kid, and if you were one of those kids, deep down inside, you know you got screwed over. Because then what happens is for kids like me, whose birthday was during the summer, everybody's wallet has recovered by that point, and so I get essentially a second gift. And where is that second gift to be found for the kid whose birthday was during the holiday season? That's right, it's nowhere to be found. But anyways, back to the main point, which is that birthdays were a very special, limited, important opportunity for a lot of us as kids to get new video games. And perhaps even a new console, although I don't remember getting any consoles myself for my birthday, I feel like that was more of a holiday gift thing. Uh, but anyways, I think, yeah, I think I got a Game Boy Advance for one birthday, so that's pretty cool. That's a handheld. It's still, still expensive. I mean, that was a big, definitely a big ticket gift for me. But yeah, it was usually new games. Now, what if you wanted something non-video game related for your birthday? Hmm. Ooh, that's tough because then you gotta cut into potentially new video games that you have to essentially sacrifice in order to get those other things. But let's say you've got all your ducks in a row and you know exactly which game or games you want. Now comes the part of making it all happen. So what would tend to occur is this. Once we had had a few birthdays as a kid, certain relatives would develop a certain reputation for what they would get you. And we would use this information in order to get a better idea of what we could expect and potentially ask from them. And if you had a relative that you could depend on for getting you a game, that was the jackpot because for a lot of relatives, I feel like the price of games was just out of range. I mean, they were expensive, especially back then when you factor in inflation, it was just out of a lot of people's price range as far as gifts go. Sometimes it was just as simple as letting your parents know which games you want and then it was up to them to relay this information to all your relatives and be like, hey, listen, uh, little Billy wants this game, that game, and this game. And then maybe you'll get lucky and one of them will pull through and get you one of those games. And then there were certain people who got you gifts that you just already knew were a lost cause as far as them potentially getting you something video game related like maybe you got that one aunt who lives really far away and who is just hell-bent on buying you socks for every birthday and so you're like forget it don't even ask her she's a lost cause and you know something else I remember a lot of happening back in the day is what I refer to as going rogue now, what going rogue is, is when somebody says, this kid doesn't know what he wants for his birthday. I know what he wants for his birthday. And what he wants is something that he didn't ask for. This can happen in a couple of different ways. The first 
way is that they just buy you something non-video game related. And in their defense, maybe it's just because it's too difficult to try to track down whatever the specific thing is that you want. They're not familiar with video games. I can kind of understand that. Uh, the luckier scenario is that maybe they buy you something video game related and even though it's not one of the specific video games you asked for, it is still a video game. So that could be good, right? Maybe it's a different game that's good. Maybe it's not a game that's good. And here's the thing, if, if say it's a game you really don't want, you can just return it, right? Like no problem, just return it and get the game you want. But. Uh, stupid kids we were we we didn't have the patience to to not open it and bring it back to the store no we ripped that sucker open and we played it right away that day anyway and so who knows maybe you got lucky and it ended up being a game you enjoyed or maybe not another potential good outcome could be that they just give you money because they didn't want to try to track down whatever it was that you asked for so then you have the money and you can just buy you know you buy whatever you want buy that game you want and I do know some kids though, anytime they got money, their parents would make them save it, put it into their college fund or whatever. And if that was the case, oof, that's another tough one. Mom, dad, I'm 11 years old. I don't wanna go to college. I wanna play Banjo-Kazooie, damn it. Let me throw one more lucky scenario at you. Okay, so say you ask someone for a specific game and it's out of their price range, but they don't know that. And so they go to the store looking for whatever it is and they find it and they're so excited that they actually found the specific game you asked for that even though it's out of their price range, they still get it. That's awesome. I should also point out that it's very possible that we would have screwed ourselves at some point as kids too with these birthday gifts because say we get exactly what we asked for, there's still no guarantee that's gonna be the game of our dreams. You know, it could be a game that we had heard about, read about, seen in magazines, friends had talked about, and then it just didn't quite deliver. And it and it stings even more because we know that was a very limited opportunity to ask for a game. I should also point out that whatever games our friends got at their birthday parties was really important too, because if that was a friend that you were hanging out with a lot, then odds are you'd be playing that game with them. And something else I remember happening, and I'd be really curious if this has happened to any of you, but so for me, I would go to a lot of birthday parties as a kid, and sometimes it would even be kids I didn't even know that well. And I can't think of any specific examples, but I remember there was definitely a couple birthdays where the kid was some spoiled turd of a kid, and it was just like torture watching this kid unwrap game after game, maybe even a console too. All right, and so that about does it for my thoughts when it comes to the video games we got for our birthdays. Of course, nowadays, most of us as adults just buy whatever video games we want ourselves and we don't rely on other people for them, but as kids, things were much different. For this video's question, I'd be really interested to hear any stories you might have about games that you got for your birthday that were really memorable, or perhaps more amusingly, games that you asked for that you didn't get. Also, be sure to vote for this Friday's video topic. You can do it for free on my Patreon page. You just log in with your Google slash YouTube login and you can vote for free. And that's helpful for me so that I can make the kind of videos that you want. Give, helps give me feedback. I'll be sure to leave the link down below in a pinned comment. So be sure to vote, be sure to leave a comment about your favorite story, and of course, I will see you in the next video. <laughs>